Hey, Mark. Hey, Jeff. Frickin' cheers on a hot day. You betcha. Ah, cheers, everybody. Cheers. So today, I like that nice German Fest beer. Ooh, I like it. So today, we had the brilliant idea of what goes well with a Romeo and Julia Maduro Reserve. Yes. So we're saying, well, we got to try barbecue sauce. That's a great idea. So what did you bring us? I, I see my favorite, Mr. Stubbs. The spicy, yes. And then we have a Williamson Brother barbecue that has a, uh, it's got honey barbecue sauce. Then we've got a sugar-free option for those of you that use sugar-free options. It's a uh, Parmesan peppercorn taste to it. Then, this is actually surprising and really good. It's a Romesco sauce that uh, has uh, almonds and red pepper, tomato and spices. That's very well good. Done. All right. And the last one is Duke's Southern Sauce. That's where it's got the hickory moonshine flavor to it. So I stopped off at Costco and oh. got us a rack of ribs. Oh, beautiful. So. They've been warming for a while, so we'll see what the Traeger has done to them. Very but nice. it started off as a good idea. Oh, they look oh, phenomenal. They are definitely smoking hot. Oh, yeah. They are looking uh, good. So, all right. So, how do you want to progress? Well, hey, we have five ribs. Five why, why don't you bend that down a little bit so it, it does yeah burn my cigar with your cigar thank you mark <laughs> holy shit oh i guess i can't multitask <laughs> the beer's <is> good <laughs> there you go hey and look it's not a bud version oh <laughs> thank god for that all right so I say we start with your side. Okay, let's do it. So, as I said, this is a Duke Southern sauce. Hey, give me a squirt. You got it. Thank you. You are welcome. A squirt. Okay. All right. Look at these fine ribs that Jeff oh, made. Oh, we'll see. Yeah, I made. <laughs> now let's give it a try. Let's do it. It's actually really good sauce. Wow. Yeah. Mm, very good. I'm going to put ash on my plate, make the next one better. <laughs> Come here, I'm going to eat you. Well, I see that you like to eat, but we're actually doing a cigar pairing more. We are. We yeah. are. So. I say no, it goes we really well. Mm. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's really good. It's it a very is. tasty thing. It's the Duke Southern Sauce Hickory yep. Moonshine. Yeah. It goes really well with uh, the cigar. Oh, yeah. Now, if you're sitting out back having a good summer rib fest. Yeah, enjoying a barbecue. You're a slob. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> barbecue tends to be a little now, bit Why messy? does your phone have to be in the picture? <laughs> uh. You never know when that, uh, you know. No, they're not, not, they're not calling. Oh, okay. Hmm. That's very good. That pairs extremely well. I say if you're having a barbecue and you want to smoke ribs, that Duke's goes really well. Mm-hmm. Get in my belly! And Maduro's... Mark, you can eat the rest of it later and try to get some off your face. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> What a special friend you are. Oh, I'm enjoying this. Food cigar yeah, pairing. I can see that. <laughs> Watching you eat disgusts me. All right, let's go to the next sauce. Let's. Okay, so now this is the Romesco. Let me actually, you know, I may have to mix it up just a bit here. Sorry. Okay, there we go. Now. Mm, how the hell are you going to get that? You're going to... Pour oil on my plate. Just a little bit. Uh, that's plenty. Okay. That was should have had a spoon for this one. 
Ah, yeah, we're having an outdoor barbecue. The better, you know, more messy it is, the better it is. Okay. I, I just want people to notice. Look how much he gives me. <laughs> Look how much he takes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Mark. Oh, you're welcome, Jeff. All right, so. All right, let's do it. Hmm. What the hell is that? I don't get anything. No? No. Hmm. How's your pain? That's supposed to be spicy. What's the flavor? So, that has a little bit of... Uh, Olive oil, almond paste, roasted bell, pe bell pepper. Mm -hmm. Okay, so basically I'm putting it in... Nothing. That's why it doesn't taste like anything. Yeah, it doesn't pair well with the cigar. It's not that it doesn't pair well. It doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> yep, that's not good. Mm -mm. Not right. that one. Should we do the next one? Yeah, why not? What is that one? That's the diabetic one? This is the diabetic one. The parm peppercorn. All right, well, put it on there somewhere that's not going to be run over by your oil base. Okay. There we go. Over here on, on top of the uh, ashes. That'll be perfect. Okay. That's plenty. You yeah, got it. Just fill up your plate, Mark. Think of it as a, <laughs> think of it as a bowl. Very good. All right. All right. <laughs> what is that? Artificial sweeteners? Probably. This sort of thing ain't my bag, baby. Tastes horrible. <laughs> hmm. Water vinegar parmesan. I never thought of having parmesan cheese with a rib. Yep, that's not my flavor in the least. Yeah, but does it pair well? No, nothing pairs with that. <laughs> you know, that would good good on lettuce. <laughs> like a like a dressing. Yeah. No, nope. so far those those two aren't quite good pairing. So All let's right, go let's to the try next the, one. What is this? Gluten free Williamson Brothers. All right, let's go with that one, Mark. Got. I have a better feeling about that this one. This is not gluten free. It says it on the bottle. Does it? It says no high fructose corn syrup, but. What is oh, this gluten big, big free. right there? In case <laughs> gluten free. I didn't mean to get the gluten you free think, one, but we're gonna try you, it anyway. You think I'm making it up? Nope. That's good enough. Let's see what you. <laughs> Let's see what we oh, can do. There's more. I see you took all the time to open them. That's very good. I didn't. Uh, no, I no, I no worries. It. Here we go. Okay. Oh, thanks for that generous portion. <laughs> all right. Let's try it. All right. Let's do it. Williamson. It's good. It's a little bland for the hmm. for the rib. Are you even smoking your cigar? Yes. Yeah. But I have to at least dip it in. Try the sauce. Mm-hmm. Hmm. No, the cigar still overpowers it. it has a nice taste. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really go with the cigar. No. I think it goes with the beer. It goes really well with the beer. This was it. Well, why hen stiffener? Oh yeah, it does. Why hen? It goes with a fest beer, whatever, however you say it. It does. It goes really, it goes really well, well with, with that. Yes. All right. Okay. Well, let's try my favorite one. Let's do it. Go Spicy for it, Mark. Stubbs. Okay. 
I think watching you eat is going to put the world on a diet. <laughs> Mr. Stubbs. Mr. Stubbs. There else we can have a little room. There we go. A little spicier. Goes well. I say Dukes and Stubbs are definitely the winners. Yeah, the two ends. Yep. Mm. Mm. Good noise. I don't have another one of those. That was pretty good. Yeah, that pairs extremely well. Which between the two did you like the best then? I think Duke's was actually better. Duke's was good. Mm. Well, if you want to go out and have a cigar during your barbecue, I recommend the Dukes. Absolutely. With the backup of Mr. Stubbs, and I would just negate the other three. And then a good uh, Maduro cigar, such as the Romeo and Juliet Reserve. Is this a good cigar? I think it's a yes, good cigar. Yes, it's a good cigar. <laughs> so, very good. It's hollowing out. Ah, along with a... Uh, a good beer. Yes. A fest beer. It's kind of a... a fest beer. Kind of Very tastes good. like a white, a white beer. Very good. So, yeah, it just goes to show that uh, cigars do pair with certain kinds of foods. Certain kinds of uh, dips. Dips, for sure. Thanks Absolutely. for watching. Thank go pick you. up some Dukes and definitely Hope we go with you. Mr. Stubbs. <laughs> Hope we made you hungry enough and uh, yeah. try out these uh, Don't watch Mark sauces. eat. You'll <laughs> never want to eat again. It's, just, it's like going to the zoo. Have a good one, guys. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye.